And we are back for the final session of this week, second session here in Italy. I'm actually with my dad, he's filming right now. <laughs> um, this, this is actually one of, the, one of my dream moments, I'm not going to lie, just having a workout with my dad. I wish I could film it properly and we only have an hour actually, we didn't realize that the gym is closing. And we got to rush this up as well, but it is what it is. I'm still going to enjoy it to the best of my ability. So it's chest and back today. Uh, we're only going to be doing four exercises. This is what we've got planned for today. Try to wrap it up in an hour. Uh, we're starting with some flies. We're going to be doing four sets between 10 to 15 reps, taken to absolute failure. And then we're going to be doing a Smith bench press on a very slight incline. And then two exercises for back is whatever back machine, whatever nice pull down machine they have here. So first working set now between 10 to 15 reps. This chest fly machine actually feels quite nice. There isn't a lot of biceps involved. So let's see if we can take it to failure. <coughs> <Ooh. coughs> <coughs> 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 Ancora più chiuso con il piede. Bravo, così. Le mani aperte con il petto, dai. Ancora. Rimani sullo schienale, cattivo. Bravo, altre due, altre due, altre due. Bravo, senza spostare il corpo. Dai, 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 dai. Bravo. Okay, second exercise, uh, Smith machine, bench press with, on a slight incline. Uh, the Smith is quite funny, the, the bar is quite thin. This is really personal preference to be honest. I prefer more of a thick bar. I prefer a thicker, that's what she said. <laughs> but yeah, let me know, let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments if you like a bit more thickness to the bar when pressing or if you like a thinner one. I know thinner is better when you're pulling, but even that, it depends, you know? I guess when you're rowing, but if you're deadlifting, I think a slightly thicker bar. It's in between really, isn't it? But yeah, I can't really say that much right now because he's in front of me, but I'm, I'm really proud of my dad. Uh, and I'm really happy to be doing this right now, but I'll give you more of an insight later on. I don't know how much weight this is, but this Smith machine feels incredibly light. So I don't think it's really heavy, but let's see. <clears throat> feels a little bit weird to set up. Like I'm always out of line somehow. Yeah, it's a bit awkward when you're starting to get to failure and uh, the barbell sinks into the hand. And when it's, the bar is so thin, it feels quite sharp. But nonetheless, there was a good connection. It felt really good. I think I found a sweet spot in terms of how high up to be on the bench. Finally, it took me fucking five warm-up sets to find it. But sometimes it's like that with new equipment. But yeah, pretty good. Right, 
a ver tu otro lado. Su. Pronto, vaya. Su. Ahora. Puesta por el gusto. Hace el gol. La última, tiene el espalda giù. Aperto col petto, vai, tutto. Grazie. I think this might be the final exercise we do today. We're just running out of time, unfortunately. Um, I just chose this uh, pull down machine here. Uh, it's quite nice, actually. You can pull from uh, above and in front, and it uses more or less the full range of motion of the lap. So it's actually quite nice. We're just going to try to, to do four sets. I think we should have time to do four sets. I wanted to take some pictures at the end if we have some time. So yeah, two sets in a lower rep range, a bit heavier, and then two sets of a lighter in a higher rep range. I should be using straps really, but ah, oh, fuck it. Due. Uh, feels really good. It gets a bit heavy at the bottom. Generally, a machine that has a really good uh, resistance curve, it gets progressively heavier as you're lengthening the muscle. Then it gets slightly lighter at the end of the range of motion when the muscle is being shortened here. It's kind of the other way around. It's really light up here, quite heavy at the bottom. But if you had a spotter that really knows how to do their job, they would spot you gradually as you're finishing the rep to really make that the shortening of the muscle a little bit easier. And that's when you're really getting the most out of the exercise. Because here I failed, I failed at the bottom, but I probably had another five or six reps right here. So I suppose this is also where doing partial reps helps a lot and you can get more out of the exercise. Sardinian genetics at their finest. Die, die. <laughs> A bit sad that we had to cut the session short, but um, nonetheless, we had fun. We did three exercises in the end. That's literally all we did, four sets uh, each. And intensity wasn't bad, actually. Much better than I thought, considering that we only had an hour. But I'm sure that next time we'll get an opportunity. If he actually carries on and it doesn't quit, then um, next time I'm here, I'm sure we'll have a, another session or a better one. Or maybe next time he's in London. Anyway... Got my dad here still, <laughs> and not not for very long because I think he's ready to go to bed. But I thought of asking him a couple of questions about fitness, and then uh, tomorrow uh, we'll have a bit of more of a longer session, um, talking session, just going through some more existential stuff. How hard was it for you to make the decision to start going to the gym? Ci è voluto molto tempo. <ride> La decisione poi è stata presa in un attimo, ma per arrivare a quell'attimo <ride> ci è voluto molto tempo, sì. Un po' come un seme piantato che prima di germogliare ha bisogno del suo tempo, quindi il, il seme della decisione c'era, però c'è voluto tempo prima che germogliasse. My dad is really good with analogies. <laughs> How do you feel now that you got into a little bit of a routine with the gym? Do you feel any different? If so, how? In what way? 
Sicuramente mi sento meglio, mi sento diverso. Ho preso un canale, ho preso una strada. Questa strada mi consente di fare diverse cose insieme, cioè non è solo l'andare in palestra, è anche altri significati, occuparmi di me, essere più disciplinato. So, so, <laughs> what helps you the most in terms of being consistent and persevering when, when it comes to training or taking care of your nutrition? Alla mia età, andare in palestra, iniziare ad andare in palestra, vuol dire essere arrivati a un estremo, a una necessità. Quindi io mi ricordo quella necessità, che è la necessità di fare qualcosa, di intraprendere una strada, di fare un cambiamento. Mi ricordo quella necessità e allora mi, mi, mi motiva. What would you advise on anyone that struggles to stay the course, to, that struggles perhaps with keeping it consistent with the nutrition or with training or to motivate themselves? Eh, perché il punto era andare fino in fondo nella mancanza. Cioè, se uno non ha toccato il fondo della mancanza, può non, eh, non mantenere la motivazione. La motivazione è data dall'aver percepito la necessità, il fondo. Qualcosa che deve smuovere, se c'è bisogno profondo. Se non c'è il bisogno, scompare. So, what's the solution? Sentire sempre il pungolo. <ride> Si dice che ci sia un pungolo, qualcosa che punge, che ti, ti, ti smuove per mantenere la, la, la motivazione. Cioè, la motivazione è relativa e mantenere la decisione, la, la, questa è la cosa più importante, mantenere e rinnovare ogni volta la decisione. Questo succede se io sono in contatto col mio bisogno e, e mantengo il fatto che con, andando in palestra risolvo... Cioè, che quella è la soluzione mi, mi permette di soddisfare il mio bisogno. Thank you so much for watching guys. If it's your first time here, I'm posting one vlog a day for a year straight. So if you enjoyed this, if you found it valuable, uh, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow.